Of course, if you've bought any of my online video courses, you know that I really prefer to inject directly in the bottom of the drum. However, um, you can also inject your foam directly down into the mixing zone of your mixer if you would like. And uh, these little double mixers like this actually work extremely well for mixing aircrete. For those of you who want to know how to inject the foam right down in here instead of uh, injecting into the bottom, um, this connection here is more or less about an inch and a quarter. So you just need an inch and a quarter rubber uh, coupling. They have these on the shelf and it just slips right on. Shove it up nice and tight and then tighten it down. And that's good enough. It won't go anywhere. Next, you need a inch and a quarter T, a little short inch and a quarter coupling. And this is not a pressure system, so you really don't need to worry about uh, using primer on these fittings. Just, just glue it up with PVC glue is good enough. And then just decide which direction you want your foam wand to protrude up and turn your T in that direction, whichever direction you would prefer. There we go. And then your final little stem, uh, you can measure that or you can just eyeball it and determine, you know, you want it to come down here as close to the blade as possible, but you don't want the blade grinding against it. So, you know, you want to leave a quarter or half inch pipe and just to be certain of your fit, stab it first and have a look at it. And then line it up. And on this particular model, I have to give, I have to, you have to pull this down on this particular model. So you get it started, and give it a pull, and it's a little tight but it'll drop and lock right into place. And then just align your outlet. And slip it in and then tighten her down. Take your inch and a quarter to three quarter adapter if that's what you need. If you wanted to just put an L on here and come straight in with your inch and a quarter foam wand, that would actually be just fine. Now you just have to determine if everything's going to sit okay. Put a little glue on there, insert your fitting, a little more glue. If you need exact instructions with PVC pipe, then you'll just have to find that elsewhere. Then I honestly don't really recommend gluing this uh, final fitting in here because you want to be able to potentially change that out. You definitely don't glue it in the foam wand because you have to be able to remove the foam wand and check the weights of your foam. Insert that in there. And then, you know, if you don't like it standing off and you want it to be more supported, then all you gotta do is loosen your fitting and give it a twist until the pipe contacts the handle. This is our student dome building project site at Tyler, Texas. And coming up this June 10th, we're having a workshop where you can come out and learn how to build your own aircrete dome. Learn how to build your foam wand, learn how to build everything that goes into it. And normally $1,250, right now you can get this course for $872. But normally there's also a 50% additional fee to bring a second person. For the next three people that sign up and pay in full for the workshop, you can bring your spouse, your friend, your spouse and your children, your spouse, your children and your dog, or a couple of your friends for no additional charge. Just click the link below in the description and that'll take you to the workshop page. Scroll down to the Tyler workshop, pay in full, 
enter two as the quantity, and then in the discount box, enter one plus free. That's the number one, P-L-U-S-F-R-E-E, -E, all lowercase. And hit apply and then check out and you'll be able to bring yourself and significant others with you for no additional charge. What makes our workshops head and shoulders above the rest is the fact that not only do we offer free consulting so that you can reach out to me after you've left here to get questions answered, but also we don't just build a dome, we build an energy efficient dome. We teach you how to do the heat load calculations for these walls to know how much energy it's going to take to heat and cool because sometimes the expense of heating and cooling can be as much as the structure over 10 years. We also teach you how to install your own air conditioning system. We teach you how to do electrical. We can teach you how to do solar. And we're not trying to complete the dome all in one workshop. We're trying to teach you the entire process as well as how to put the systems into your home so that your home will actually be comfortable and wonderful to live in, not just a third world four inch dome with a hole in the top. We want you to be able to build something that is truly a home, something truly comfortable where you can rest your feet and relax in safety, security, and comfort.